Good morning everyone and welcome to another video. Today is Saturday and I am so so excited because basically for the first time since starting grad school I don't really have any homework that I need to do this weekend. I mean I still have a little bit of homework but like relative to the amount that I normally had I basically have none. So I have a free day and I'm planning on spending it with my friends and I thought it would be fun to take you all around with me. So it is currently eight o'clock right now and I just did some yoga and then did a little practice on headstands and stretching and now I just started to drink my liter of water. I always drink my water after yoga and it's always a liter. Drink your water people, stay hydrated. So then after I drink my water I wait about 15 to 30 minutes depending how busy I am and how I'm feeling before I eat my breakfast. But actually before I eat my breakfast I'm going to do a little research today because to start off my day I'm going out to brunch with a few friends from grad graduate school and we're going to a diner by their house but I looked at the menu for the diner and it doesn't really look like there's a lot of vegan options so this is the menu for it and as you can see the most popular things are like steak and oreo milkshake well I guess the oreos are vegan and then this thing which is like eggs bacon sausage pancakes so not very vegan friendly, but so I was looking for the menu. Um, I can have like juice all the way down here. So I think I might be able to have the oatmeal with fruit. Hopefully there's no milk in it. So I'm actually just gonna call the restaurant and ask them if they can make that oatmeal with fruit vegan. And that will determine how much I am going to eat for breakfast now because we're going at 10 o'clock. So I have two hours, so I'm still gonna eat something, but I just don't know if I'm going to be able to eat a full meal with them, but I'm still going to go either way. So yeah, let's do that right now. Hi, um, I was curious, I am thinking of going to eat with you all today, but I can't eat dairy or eggs. So I was wondering if the oatmeal that you have on your menu, if that could be made without milk or any butter or anything? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. You're Bye. Success! So now I'm gonna finish drinking my water and then I'll probably make a smoothie, but it probably just won't be as big because I'll get oatmeal there and hey! So see, it always goes to show that even if you think a restaurant doesn't have vegan options or their vegan options may be questionable, you can always call ahead and ask if it can be prepared and they'll be more than happy to help you because your dollar is their business, so a good restaurant should be willing to accommodate you as well. So yeah, I will see you guys for my mini pre-breakfast. <coughs> Took too big of a gulp. Oh my gosh, I'm like crying. <laughs> I am such a talented vlogger, let me tell you. Okay, so I'm going to make like a salted caramel kind of smoothie. So in here, I just have one fresh banana and one frozen banana. And then I chopped up two medjool dates, so that's what those are. Then I'm going to add in maca powder. And just kidding, I guess this isn't going to be a salted caramel smoothie because I'm not adding salt, it's just gonna be a caramel smoothie. But then yeah, I'm going to add a splash of soy milk to make it creamy and then I'm just gonna fill the rest up with water and I'm going to blend this and it will be my pre-breakfast. Okay, I'm gonna give a little taste test before I take my Instagram picture. Solid. Okay, I just put my swimsuit on and a romper on top of that because after brunch, my friends and I are all going to the beach. So I'm just gonna pack my bags really quickly, pack some food to bring with me for lunch, and then head out the door. Um, before I go, 
I wanted to tell you guys that I wrote the directions down. I've actually never biked to my friend's house before, so I wrote the directions down on this sticky note, and I'm gonna stick it to my bike because it's actually embarrassing how easily I get lost. But like, I can't use my phone while I'm biking because I need to be paying attention to the road, and I like can't hold it in one hand. So. Yeah, that's my embarrassing fact for the vlog. But I'm going to head out the door now and I will show you guys what my second part of breakfast ends up looking like. I've been thinking about into my apartment complex, it starts to pour. So I guess I lucked out. So, uh, I got a little burnt, just, just a little. But hopefully it fades fast. <sighs> I just had aloe vera all over my face and it was really refreshing, but then now it kind of like constricted my skin. So I feel like I can't make like full facial expressions. Okay guys, we need to have a chat. So last night I didn't really have any homework that I needed to do either. So I just kind of wanted to relax and watch a movie. And I was on Netflix and I was looking at my instant queue. And I was like, oh, I haven't watched Cowspiracy in a while. And to be completely honest, Cowspiracy had like zero role in me going vegan. I actually didn't even really watch the movie until after I went vegan. I watched Earthlings and Forks Over Knives and that's kind of what did it for me. Uh, but I know everyone always like accredits it to be such an amazing movie so I was like oh you know maybe I was just like weird or something the first time I watched it and if I watch it again maybe it'll just like be interesting and like seriously it just blew my mind all I could think was like wow what are we doing to our planet I know I don't really get deep and like strictly talk about veganism like explicitly on this channel because I want to show other people how easy veganism can be and like you don't have to talk about it 24 7 in order to live a vegan lifestyle but at the same time I am like an advocate for veganism and I feel like it's just something that I so strongly believe in and I've never really like talked about it directly with you guys like kind of just a one-on-one -on -one conversation all the facts they were saying was just like Oh my gosh like how do people watch this movie and then not go vegan like do you realize like even if you're not vegan and you watch my videos I appreciate you for watching my videos but ultimately at the end of the day the purpose of my channel is to convert everyone to a vegan lifestyle and like if you care about this planet that you live on and you want future generations to live on it and you want to live a disease free like happy life how could you not go vegan like i just uh, don't know and like there's a scene in the movie where he goes to a backyard farm and the guy is just like slaughtering ducks for food and he just like doesn't care about it and i was literally crying i was like how do people not realize that an animal is another living being like you need to make the connection that the meat on your plate is muscle from a creature who was alive and had a life and had feelings and had a family why are you eating that when you can perfectly thrive on a vegan diet and you don't need to eat meat like at all there is no nutritional benefit that you can't get from plants and it's just so cruel and I feel like a lot of people just don't really like even think about it like it's so easy to go on from your day-to-day -day life and be stressed out about school or finding a job or being able to afford your rent that you kind of overlook like the basic fundamental things that make up our society like we torture and slaughter other animals for our benefit and pleasure and it's destroying the planet and i don't know after i just watched the movie i just felt so empowered and inspired and i was like do i really 
do enough with my channel? Like, am I explicit enough in encouraging other people to go vegan? Am I actually making a difference? And like I said, everyone gets busy and it is hard because I'm in grad school right now and my classes are really busy. Honestly, to be completely honest with you all, it is a little stressful right now. Like my classes are very time intensive and I need to actually make sure I learn the material. But at the same time, I can't see myself giving up this YouTube channel and not continuing to spread the vegan message. And I just feel like it's moments like that, like my head is absolutely buzzing with a million ideas and videos filmed and things I can do. And it just seems like I don't have time to do them all. And I don't know, it's just kind of frustrating for me. It just like seriously breaks my heart to think that people believe we have to kill innocent animals in order to live a happy life. When there are so many research articles and vegans who are living examples that you don't. So if you watch my videos and you're not vegan, I just please, if you can do one thing for me, watch Cowspiracy or watch Earthlings or watch Forks Over Knives and really think about the things you're putting into your mouth and the impact that you're making on this planet. And think about it, you can be someone who just follows the masses and continues with their life, or you can be someone who actually makes a real positive impact in this world. And it's not even that difficult. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. I just kind of wanted to get that off of my chest and oh my gosh, that was just lightning on my face. I just like really want to share the compassion side of veganism with everyone and make an impact and you know, really change the world. So hopefully some of that resonated with you guys and my very red appearance didn't completely distract you the whole time. And that's it. I'm done. I'm just gonna drink this water now and then make something for dinner. But I'm kind of hot. I might just have a smoothie. Bow, I've been, bow, been thinking about bow, you. Bow, 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 I've been, bow, been thinking about bow, you. So I finished my water and all of a sudden I got super hungry. So I ate a piece of this cornbread that I made, which was absolutely amazing. I love cornbread so much. But anyways, I ate that while I was making this, which is my dinner. So it is a chocolate and cranberry smoothie bowl. I mixed some cacao powder with some cranberry powder. And then I topped it with some granola and some dried cranberries. And it came out super creamy and thick. So, yep. I'm going to eat that deliciousness and I will check in with you guys later. So I feel like this vlog has already been pretty long. So I think I'm just going to end it here because it's already going to probably be around 10 minutes and you guys probably don't want to see me talking for any longer than that. I hope you all enjoyed this glimpse into my life and let me know if you kind of want me to film more vlog style videos like this because I actually think I prefer filming these because I get to be more personal with you guys and kind of share my thoughts and like what's going on with my life and I really like having like a relationship with my subscribers because all of you are really important to me and yeah I think that's it so I will bid you all adieu I'm just going to be editing some videos tonight and probably eating the rest of that cornbread that you saw earlier <laughs> but I love you all. Thank you all for watching and I will see you later. Goodbye. Bow, bow, bow. I've been thinking about